Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video of my Let's Play of Anima. How are we doing? Hope you guys are all doing well. Hopefully you guys are staying safe inside and doing everything you guys can possibly can to uh, make sure that um, we don't have any sort of further issues with our uh, pandemic that's happening. That's probably the right word of saying. But anyway, I wanted to get that out of the way. Hopefully you guys are, are okay. Um, and we can hopefully move on from that. So we are in the Black Palace, uh, floor two, and just sort of doing our thing at the moment, just sort of trying to get through these because I really want to get out of um, the palace, but also I want to continue on with questing and things like that, and just essentially leveling up because I really, really want to get to uh, the next reincarnation and you know move on from thereafter. So. With this Let's Play that I've been doing as well, particularly I wanted to uh, focus on just doing the Let's Play based, around, uh, based upon sorry, the R1. And I just wanted to get out of this as soon as possible so I can start focusing on the higher reincarnations. But also, more importantly, I really wanted to um, start leveling up and experiencing the game for you know for what it is at the moment and i haven't been able to do that unfortunately because i've sort of held myself back while playing um this game to a certain degree and level and i really want to sort of experience more on what what the game has to offer and i know there's going to be a lot that the game has to offer and there's a lot of um you know, steep learning curves and things like that that you know I need to sort of uh, learn for myself and also get the um, experience from you guys as well so there's a few things and a few reasonings why that um, I really want to get myself you know into the the next sort of levels and I can start leveling up so what my thought process was is as soon as I finished uh, reincarnation one um, I don't think I'll be uploading any more Let's Play based videos just to see how it all goes from thereafter um, and hopefully from thereafter we can just sort of focus on little bits and pieces here and there. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment sections um, below guys. So once I finish R1 and I move on to R2, um, I don't believe there's going to be any point in me doing any sort of uh, Let's Play based upon the, the same type of levels all over again. So what would you guys like me to do whilst I'm going through R2, 3 and so on and so forth. Um, really interested to know what your thoughts are about that and if there's anything that you guys want to see from me personally please let me know in the comments because I really want you guys to you know, have any more to say into what I do especially with a new type of game um, that I'm playing, well genre based really. So. I mean, I've, I've always been primarily survival based games, so I really want to sort of branch out and see what I can do um, with, you know, other type of genre skills and games and things like that. And the format in the way that my games are played are very, very different. So I'm, I'm thinking maybe do I uh, do like build videos? Um, do I do, um, I don't know. Do I do rift, uh, rift videos? I don't know. So this is where I need to lean on you guys and as to what you guys are wanting to see. I know there's a lot of other people um, like Shadowfall. He does primarily build videos and things like that, um, which do attract a lot of views because I guess that's what a lot of you guys want to see. Um, but from a different perspective, from a Let's Play perspective, as I've been playing it, um, this is where I need to sort of find you know, um, a, a build or a, a way that I can conduct my videos that you guys will be interested in playing, oh sorry, watching. And and hopefully it's informative, entertaining, things like that. So this is all these things I need to consider for myself. And I'm hopefully hopeful that you guys can, you know, sort of help me out with this as well at the same time. So I'm really asking for your help with this one. And hopefully, um, you know, we can work to you know a format that's going to work out for all of us really so I guess that's where it's all at at the moment um, ooh, I went down a different pathway it looks like I've explored the whole place so that's cool I think I've missed a few guys up on the other end here because usually with maps like these you sort of kind of know where you're going um, you know but that all depends on 
um, the, the map and how it's all been generated. But you know, experiences tell you one thing, and, and reality tells you something else. So yeah, I'm sure you guys get it from from that type of perspective. But I think I was over here before, and I think we we're going down this way actually. So. I've already gone through there, I think it was around this corner here, there was a few enemies here I didn't actually take it down, so we'll go ahead and do that, oh it's just the one guy, really, okay, just sort of wasted my time with that, didn't I, well that's fine, so we'll try and make our way over, we'll finally get to the floor 3, see what that's all about, and I really want to get out of the Black Palace so we can move on to the, the next part as well, and hopefully, um, yeah, we'll start seeing some decent level ups as well. If you guys are noticing as well, if you guys are watching my Let's Play one by one, you'll notice that there, there was a little bit of a jump between last video and this video level wise. So I think I've got nearly 10 levels. And reasons only because in between videos, I really don't want to advance into other floors until I have completed the floor that I'm currently up to if that makes sense so what I've done really is I've just grinded um, floors one and two uh, for the past week and a bit in between the video cuts that I've been able to do and where I've been up to so on and so forth so you may have noticed a bit of a change in my player as well um, opted to the uh, uh, to the halo that I've got here around me um, that's helping me out which I've seen in some uh, build videos that it really sort of helps out your character as well especially if you're doing um, certain certain runs and things like that and you have to rely on different um, attacks and things like that so yeah so I thought I'd just explain that a little bit as we we're sort of going through so far so good, much to be expected, I wasn't really going to be too worried about as, um, as I was sort of going along. Yes, I know it's only just reincarnation one, so it's really not much of an issue uh, for a lot of people, and especially for people that haven't really played, and, and that's, this is really where I'm sort of trying to target my audience, I guess, for new people that are playing. And hopefully when as you know time goes on the game gets more popular people will see the let's play for you know for what it is and hopefully they get a lot more out of it than you know um, than anything else really they can sort of sit back relax muck around watch my videos and you know, sort of get a better understanding on what needs to be done as you sort of go through you know the, the level so to speak I think we're already done with R3, which is, uh, sorry, with uh, level 3, which is great. Um, absolutely smashing it, but I know for a fact that some of these levels do go on a little windy, twisty path in most, in most cases. I am aware that once you do get into the higher reincarnations, the maps do get a little bit bigger as well, so there's that. Um, so that's going to be interesting in the ways that I do if I were to sort of continue on with a let's play format with the higher reincarnations on how that really particularly works so you know again these things I'm thinking ahead in time um, so nothing as I said before would be uh, concrete but it's more or less for me to you know have some contingencies depending on you know what would be required I guess Okay, so floor four. Now I'm not too sure if there's going to be any sort of boss fights or anything like that after this, so hopefully I'll be ready to go with it. I'm not too sure, um, but I think I've got enough firepower to sort of deal any sort of damage um, as I am at the moment. So I'm not too sure anyway, but we'll see. We'll see how it all goes. I just want to grab anything and everything and once my bag gets full where, where are we at with our bag okay so three more slots and then we'll have to head back home to quickly disperse and if there's anything that we've uh, picked up along the way would be you know beneficial to our crusade here then obviously we'll uh, make the amendments and the changes of course right now uh, we are just Plodding along here. 
getting but getting our gold. Oop, bags full. Alright, so we'll deal with these guys. Get rid of these guys. Head back. I don't think that was a blue, I think that was a grey bone helm. They actually tend to be really good as well from what I've seen. Um, but a lot of other people, you know, have different builds and things like that. Um, that will sort of portray differently to myself, really. Now I'm just focusing on the things that I think that I need or that I, that I think I could need. Uh, there's only one socket there, I'm not going to really worry about that. The am amulet here, nothing. Alright, so these things are very, very, very poor. I really thought that this would have been okay, but unfortunately not. If I had a couple of sockets, I, uh, you know, that's something I could have worked with, to be honest with you. But, um, yeah, that doesn't really matter. Not at this stage in the game, really. So I'll go ahead and sell those. We'll store that back in our inventory and we'll head back. Continue on. that up and that would have been yeah, just a, a basic 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 nothing that I'm gonna worry about okay and let's just smash our way through get through you guys nice and easily what I actually like is I like to try and get I mean th this comes down to the type of build that you really want to do but I do enjoy getting hordes and hordes of enemies here and then as soon as I I get them into where I where I need them to be. I just go ahead and just blast a lot of them, and then you just see the um, the demolishment of these set enemies. So I do enjoy things like that. I guess that's really more like a, like a tank style sort of build that would interest me more. I don't know, but I, I am enjoying the mage build um, as as what well, you know as I'm sort of you know playing through. I do. I have actually made another character um, on my different device as well. I don't know why I did that. Um, I guess I was sort of using that when I, was, when I first started playing the game, just to sort of get a feel for it as a bit of a tester. Um, whereas I could have just, you know, used it on the single device that I'm using now. But anyway, I digress from that. Um, but I, I opted for a skirmish build, which is okay. Um, there, there are pros and cons with, you know battling or having certain builds and things like that so it just comes down to your personal preference really I guess um, so there's some attributes that I really like with this um, and then there's others we got to be careful when I do that and then there's other attributes that I like with the um, you know with the skirmish build so yeah it all becomes relative to a point and it, you just got to work out what you like the most and what you feel most comfortable with what I really want to find out from you guys though is I'm, I am ready to take the next um, uh, attribute as well my secondary so I don't know what I want to do with that um, so should I go full, full mage should I go archer um, as my secondary or should I go skirmish as my secondary so uh, let me know in the comments because I really need to know what or you know how I should be you know attacking this really and it's obviously going to set me up for future um, uh, you know reincarnations and everything else the rest of it basically so yeah just needing to know what I should be doing with that. Um, so bag is full. Let's just go ahead and take out everyone else. That is about. Okay. Got all my coinage here. So there's a few things to pick up. So we're going to have to head back home, deloot, loot up the rest and then continue on. So we're, we'll be on to the next floor, which is great. Um, the next section. And I think that would be the second last, if I recall correctly. I can't even remember to be honest with you. But everything here doesn't scream increase, unfortunately. There are certain attributes and things like that that I feel um, that I could use. Okay, so here's my theory. My theory is the way that I look at things the stats and things like that, whatever's in red, whatever's in green, whatever is in white. So I look at things that are close to what I have as a balance measure. So anything that's close to white, um, what I'm also looking at as a point of difference as well is how many sockets that um, the item or the equipment may have. And based on that alone, I sort of make a call to invest into it and then to use it. And then if, um, you know, to see if that sort of works out for me. 
and I, th I guess that sort of allows me to carry my, my player a little bit longer without sort of doing sort of spot fixes here and there. I don't know. Am I... I don't know. Is, is, it a very, is it a naive way of thinking? I should be holding out for certain um, uh, equipment. I know that, you know, obviously when you're doing the first run of, of any sort of ARPG game that it really doesn't matter for the first, um, in this case, uh, the first uh, reincarnation. But I don't know. I'm just sort of thinking out loud here. And if it sort of happens to be that I need to, you know, look at other, or I should be looking at other elements or oh, attributes or anything nice. like that, um, let me know because it's obviously going to better me as a player and as I'm progressing further along and, you know, the quickness in the, in the way that I can um, get through all these levels and things like that and sort of move on from the next, you know, from one thing to another kind of thing. Alright, so this is the Archine level. Again, another very aesthetically pleasing um, level, so really happy with the graphics here. Um, all looks good. And so far, I mean, I haven't ran into anything too crazy just yet, but everything seems to be just like the Black Palace for now, which is good. It's good for me because that means I. That, that tells me that my build, uh, so far the current build that I'm using is uh, powered up correctly. But we'll see how we go in terms of you know, if he gets too crazy or anything like that. All right, let's watch this. Let's go grab him. Okay, fortune. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So I need to find as many as enemies as possible so I can try and cash in on all of that. Right now I have... Um, yeah, okay, so we are nearly upwards of, of our first million, which is awesome. Uh, so again, that, that really doesn't amount to anything much at the minute, but eventually, you know, this will all sort of come into play, I guess, with all, you know, how much money I should be having, things like that. Um, I don't think there was any enemies over there. No, okay, cool. So we can actually move on. Fantastic. Um, what I'll do is I think we'll cover this first floor and then I'll make the follow-up video and continue on with this because I think we've done pretty much everything that I want to accomplish in this video. So hopefully, um, like I said, hopefully you guys will um, have a chat to me in the comment section. Let me know what I should be doing, what I should be doing. Um, again, I really want to know what secondary class I should be using or I should be utilizing um, and just give me some reasons. And this is not just for my own benefit as well, but this is for future people that might be wanting to play the game as well. And they may be in the same predicament that I, um, as I am right now at the moment. So this is the reason for this Let's Play. It's to get all the, all the basic questions out of the way. Um, these questions that people may want to, um, you know, want to know about straight away. Or, you know, during, you know, their own Let's Play. So, you know, they may not be you know, at the level that I am right now, but what they, where they might be is they might be watching these videos and they might be thinking to themselves, okay, cool. Um, this is where I'm going to be at this point in time as of, you know, as the video is playing, whereas I'm, um, that player might be a few levels behind me right now. And this sort of helps, um, them making some decisions here and there based upon, you know, my actions and what I do, you know, during the let's play and I guess that's that's really where I want to sort of help out you know fellow players and things like that so hopefully I'll get some experience from you guys and you guys can sort of you know uh, help us out with that I really should have gone down that way beforehand should not um, all right I'm gonna have to backtrack unfortunately I really need to map out where I need to go. That's, not, that's probably something for me. If I, if I had to give myself any sort of feedback, it would be to make sure that I am mapping out and covering the entirety of the map without having to double back and then go back again and to continue forward, which can be very, very annoying because what I won't know right now is, is the next level on this side or will it be on the other side where I was just before? This is what I won't know until I keep going and moving myself down until I find out uh, for myself here. 
so I don't know whether it looks like to be a dead end I'm not too sure um, because it's expanding like crazy here so this is where I don't know where I should be going I got a funny feeling that this is where everything this is where I need to be nearly died too by the way so yeah again I, I don't know so you sort of go on this tandem here where you really don't know where you should be going until you know you sort of find your way what what, what would be nice is I've actually noticed it sometimes when I've played the game is that the the map sort of shows and generates the um, the exit level to go to the next level if that makes sense um, you know and it might be on the other side or it might be a little while away until you um, and I mean until you sort of get to that point but you, you see it that that's that's the main that's the main thing so you'll see it on on the um, on the heads up display there and and we've got Hedwig to contend with as well, so I'll need to speak with him. Did I get something decent here? It's 184, this is 197, so I've still got better weapons at the moment. I feel like if I grind the, the levels a little bit more, I will find some decent loot eventually. But like I said, it's only the first crack at it, and once I... I sort of get to level, you know, two and three beyond that, you know, things like that will be a lot different. But let's see what Hed Hedwig has to say. Ura, aura vis cum prendicas videras trotas avoses, nus no ec retravis amartecas, no es magister dicemades, viluacul raulum prolos, vis maja nudest ito shivac. Vitecas nu no ecum velacas inu bohumor, inu havomara maler, terra peteroc dura puc getori que ges mera virgo. Chiare tropeus vetac, nus no ec sinat duere to peior vorter aeus. Au pere cru grota trope pas, i cretus c nu ura eu, inu terupio eu glucas, terra crudul valus trabalus. Cool, so we gotta find the Amos Legacy. Interesting. So I'm guessing it's gonna be within this realm here that we're at at the moment. So we'll see how we go with that. But right now, as I said, absolutely annihilating everyone here. Actually, I would have thought this would have been a little bit more of a fight, but it's actually good so far. Got a purple helm, which is great. Destroy these guys. I don't think the exit's on this side here, to be honest with you. Oh, it is. Cool. So, I know where the exit is. And I will have to go all around the other side to just to sort of cover my tracks and space here. Which is really annoying. Which is really, really, really annoying. So, I didn't particularly want to do that. But now that I've, I've sort of committed to one side or the other, um, yeah, it, it, it is what it is. This is what I was saying before. If I knew that the, the next level was in that corner, I could have gone down the, all through the other passages, uh, ways and everything like that. And eventually I could have made myself um, my way back without, you know, sort of going back and forth, back and forth. But look, that's what I have to do, don't I? And I, I guess that I really like to show full coverage of a map. And I guess that's my sort of like a commitment to you guys. Um, but let me know in the comments. Do you guys enjoy the fact that I'm going through every sort of corner, nook and cranny in a map? Um, yeah, drop it in the comments. Really, really like to hear your thoughts. And hopefully that will, you know, sort of improve the fact in future videos as well. So that's... I guess then you know the the idea behind that what I would really love to see which I haven't seen before is um, connections and what I mean by that is connections to um, 
the map so it means that you don't have to run all the way back and you can just sort of continue on and you know find your way through to the, the next part um, sorry go back in, in, in a bit of a loop so you can sort of loop around and you don't have to follow your way or you know go all the way backwards like we are now see there's there's nothing I can you know sort of go say over here so I can't you know jump over here for whatever reason I'd love to but it's gonna push me to go all the way back to where I was before and yeah but I, I would love for maps to be sort of connected to a point to sort of help that and you can sort of, and that will sort of you know assist, assist in quicker run-throughs and things like that especially for you guys that are more uh, experienced and you guys have um, you guys know what you're doing essentially and you don't have to worry about um, uh, fo you know following the, the path going one way finding the dead end and then coming you know all the way back again so I guess that's something that I would like for the developer to do just to sort of connect things up or you know or give us the or the ability to have like a um, the option to find a secret passageway or like a shortcut in each map I don't know that might be something interesting that may allow us or you know make players spend a little bit more time in the game I don't know if that would be a thing um, just a general suggestion I guess really but yeah that's just my thought process behind that but anyway we're we're back to where we needed to be anyway after a few runs up and back kind of thing but we'll grab this last chest and we'll head up to the next part and we'll probably call it a video from there after because I think we spent a bit of time on this one today which was which is fine not a problem all right there we go so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this one so let me know down in the comments about the questions that I've asked during and throughout the video um, hit the like button share if you can that'll really help me out and if you guys are new to the channel want to see the rest of the series consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos all right guys take it easy and i'll see you in the next one